So today we will discuss about block cipher. Uh, as in our last session, we have discussed about uh, stream cipher, right? So <clears throat> let's see what is block cipher and how does it works and uh, some of the example of uh, block ciphers. So what is uh, block cipher? A block cipher is an encryption method that applies a deterministic algorithm along with the symmetry key to encrypt a block of text rather than encrypting one bit at a time as in stream cipher. So as you know that in stream cipher what you have seen that uh, the encryption method was encrypting uh, one bit or one byte at a time. Right. But in case of block cipher you will find that uh, it is uh, not working in that way. Instead it is taking a chunk of data or block of data and uh, encrypting that block at a time. Again, it uh, you know, take another block of data and uh, uh, encrypt that at a time. So if you have a you know, big amount of data, so that data is going to be encrypted uh, you know, or has divided into few blocks, equal size blocks, and then each of the blocks are going to be encrypted. Okay. For example, a common block cipher is AES, which is, you know, very popular and widely used so uh, it encrypts uh, 20 uh, sorry 128 bit block that means it uh, takes uh, uh, input uh, plain text of 128 bit size at a time and it encrypts uh, that block with a key and that key can be you know determine uh, predetermined uh, you know, length and that length can be 128 bit 190 2 bit or 256 bit. So there is a three variant of AES, uh, you know, basic variant of AES, which are uh, based on the different size of uh, key. Okay. <clears throat> Next, uh, if you see, the it maps n bit plain text block to n bit cipher text block. So usually it happens that in block cipher you are giving n bit uh, plain text and you are getting n bit of cipher text so that uh, there is uh, no bit expansion or you know decrease decrement in the number of bits um, on the input side and output side. Now for n bit plain text and cipher text blocks and uh, fixed key. The encryption function is a bijection. Okay, so it is a bijection function. Most uh, most of the time, the encryption function is bijection function. Okay, and you can represent it like this: uh, encryption p n is the nth uh, nth block of uh, plain text p. Uh, multiply is uh, you know, just a uh, an operation um, with k. K is the key which produce the cipher text block of n or n block of the cipher text okay such that for all key small k belongs to capital k and mm, encryption of x x is a block of an plain text and k key is an inverting or invertible mapping that means once you have encrypted the output should be invertible uh, you know to the plain text so it can be also written as uh, e suffix k in bracket x. So that we, you know, general notation we use and we know. Okay. So the inverse mapping is nothing but the decryption function, and the <coughs> decryption function can be given as y equal to d suffix k given x. That means uh, if you decrypt, you are going to get y, and uh, at the end of the day, that y and the x should be. Uh, mm, here, the, okay, here this x is basically cipher text so y and uh, this pn should be same do you notice the decryption of plain text x under k k is the key okay now few things you will uh, you know few terms you will uh, hard and different time and numbers of time in uh, block cipher so one is a block size that i think you already understood that uh, say you have a 5 12 bit of uh, data so and your algorithm takes uh, 64 bit at a time so this 5 12 bit of plain text is going to be divided into n number of blocks so how we will calculate n it can be 5 12 by 64 and whatever the number is going to be mm, the you know, number of blocks 
okay and block size is going to be 64 in this case uh, okay then it goes uh, key size so large key size means greater security definitely you should have a you know larger key space and big key so that you know attacker should not be able to guess the key easily okay like you will find in literature and you know, many ciphers are having you know, short key size like 64 bit or less than that uh, which are you know treated as vulnerable cipher and uh, people don't like to use them uh, due to the short key okay the number of rounds another thing we will find that is multiple round offers increasing security so what happens you know same you know thing same changes they were doing you know numbers of time on the data you know on the block okay so it can be you know 12 round it can be 16 round okay so depending depending on the cipher recommends you have to uh, repeat uh, the same operation on the you know block and uh, encryption mode it depends how mass is larger then the block size are encrypted so very important for the security of encrypted masses so how you know larger masses than block size are going to be encrypted means uh, how we are dividing the blocks okay so simplest one is uh, by you know, uh, the larger masses length you take and divide it by the, by the block size you get the number of block okay so that can be done so now why block cipher so one thread of uh, defining the frequency analysis <coughs> use different key in different locations so in block cipher good thing is that it uses different key in uh, basically different uh, you know um, rounds also so example one time pad and stream ciphers uh, then um, Another way to defeat uh, frequency analysis is make the unit of transformation larger, okay, larger than uh, the encrypting letter by letter, okay, encrypting block by block. So what is happening here, you know, in uh, stream cipher, we, we have seen that uh, we are going to encrypt letter by letter, then byte by byte. But here in block cipher, uh, instead of letter by letter encrypting, we are encrypting, you know, block by block. Okay, so that gives you, you know, better security against frequency analysis. And some, uh, many, uh, you will see that some block cipher gives this facility, you know, uh, most of the block cipher gives, uh, you know, uh, it works this way. Then uh, yeah, one of the basic block cipher example is the pistol cipher network. So it is, uh, you know, uh, works in uh, several block ciphers are, you know, based on the structure has been proposed. And this pistol network was proposed by pistol in 1973. The pistol net network is fully specified given by the block size n equal to 2w uh, number of rounds is d so d is not defined here okay because it is generalized um, network and d round function is having uh, you know the, the round function okay f1 to fd okay and which uh, does mm, 0 to 1 to the power w mapping to 0 to 1 to the power w so this uh, f function basically maps you know mm, this uh, all string possible of the w length in the 0 to 1 and over 0 to 1 and maps to uh, another string of uh, length w of 0 to combination of 0 and 1s okay this network is uh, was used uh, in des i id rc5 okay rc4 we have discussed previously right so rc5 and many other block ciphers okay you will find so we'll discuss des very shortly uh, but this is not used in uh, AES. Okay. So, pistol cipher structure, if you look, uh, it takes the plain text. You will find the plain text is divided into uh, left part and right part. And then the right part goes through a function called, uh, you know, F. And uh, this F takes input uh, key, K1. And then the left side goes you know with the operation of the output of the f and generate the right part uh, right half of the next round okay and the you know without changing anything in the right part it 
it is going to be used as the left part of the next round. Okay, and so um, if you see this LE1 and R, RE1, you can see this LE1 is nothing but equal, it is same as RE0, but RE1 is basically an encrypted form, okay, of, uh, you know, including this F function and uh, LE0 and RE0 and even the key, K1. Okay, so this at the end of uh, first round, round one, you are going to have LE1 and RE1. Now, you can see, so in the RE1, uh, sorry, in the, at the end of the round one, you have uh, LE1 is uh, not decrypted yet, but RE1 is, uh, sorry, not encrypted yet, but RE1 is already encrypted. Okay, but at the end of uh, round two, if you see the round two, so this RE1 is taken as the input in the you know, function F and with uh, uh, help of K2. So here is another K, uh, key, K2, which changes or encrypts uh, the RE1 here again. And using that, you know, using that output of this F, we change the LE2 or just do a jar operation here and to generate RE2. Now this RE2 at the end of uh, round two is basically encrypted message. They will not find any relation between this RE2 and this plain text box. Okay, so this is become an encrypted and this RE1 of uh, you know, uh, round one at the end of uh, round one, whatever you had, is used as LE2 at the end of uh, round two. So at the end of round two, you can notice that LE2 and RE2 are basically different from the uh, plain text block and they are, both of them are changed and the, in this way L, you know, left part and the right part are, and are going to be keep changing up to round 16 okay and if it is a 16 bit uh, you know structure after uh, you know, 16th round it is going to give you uh, this uh, left part uh, 17th left part and 18th sorry and 17th right part and merging these two together you will have the cipher block okay so you may think here that what about this shape what is this if it is kind of a very abstract looking like now for the time being you can uh, think this f is a jar operation okay but yeah later on you will find this you uh, know when you will discuss des uh, and other block cipher you will find this f uh, involves with uh, s boxes uh, permutation and uh, you know uh, substitution all these things so we do um, you know substitution issue using s boxes and permutation using you know some permutation boxes so these things will come here we will go that uh, detailing later but you understand this basic structure without understanding f you understand the basic structure of a crystal cipher or crystal structure okay so this looks like this if you understand this, you can uh, understand that you are going to be able to understand the other block cipher which are you know uh, designed based on the structure. Okay, forget about F for the time being uh, because uh, we'll take care of F later when we'll discuss some uh, cipher like DES in detail. Okay, <clears throat> so here uh, you can see. A little bit uh, more uh, elaboration is there. So we had the plain text block, which is divided into L0 and R0, that means left part and right part. Okay. Um, so left part is joined with the output of F1. Okay. And L, that joined result is going to be, you know, act as R1. And R0 is going to be act as L1. This is what I have already discussed in the previous slide. Okay and so on it is in this you know operation goes uh, for the d round in the previous you can see it is it happened for 16 rounds okay now if you see uh, you know in operation uh, you know uh, l1 equal to so here l1 equal to r0 so r0 is at it as it is going to be copied to l1 r1 equal to l1 jar with the output of f1 so f1 is taking input r0 and k key is not showing here so k key okay so mathematically it can be written like this okay so we have to understand what is this f if you know the f 
you know you will be under you know understand to uh, what is the cipher or you know you can explain it okay so that is what i am keeping you know still now abstract uh, about this structure this thing i had already discussed uh, previously you know the advantages and disadvantages of our stream cipher algorithm and block cipher algorithm uh, so i'm not uh, discussing it in detail right now you just uh, uh, can have a look on it i'm just uh, moving forward yeah here you can see the, you know different block cipher uh, algorithms uh, not block, block cipher algorithm there are some stream cipher algorithm as well uh, which are uh, you know whose uh, key, key length and block sizes are given here okay so I, as I was telling you that there is a different ciphers which are having small key length and treated as less secure. Okay, you can see here, uh, you know, DES is having only 56-bit key. Uh, triple DES uh, is having one version of 56-bit key, but another versions are having higher number of bits in key. Okay, then RC4 is having, you know, only uh, 40 bits of uh, key, but, uh, you know, it is having option uh, to choose key length among you know in between 42 bit to 256 bits okay so you know so these things are uh, you know you can understand that uh, different uh, uh, cipher and different algorithm they differs and you can see the block cipher again here and uh, no, block size again here so that means the input block size uh, now uh, taken by this block cipher so in RC4 is a stream cipher, so block cipher block size is uh, not written here because it uh, you have already seen RC4 takes one byte at a time and encrypts. Okay, but you uh, know these are the block ciphers, so block sizes are mentioned here. Okay, and then uh, uh, again uh, some other uh, modified version of this is given here. You know algorithm uh, their uh, length of key and block size. You can see you know. There's some other algorithm, Blowfish, you know, length is quite high, key length is quite high, uh, 576 bit, but uh, you know, block length is only 64 bit, okay. Then uh, CST 256 is another cipher, Ghost is another, so IDEA is another cipher, RC6 came, okay, that is another, and then Sprint and Two Fish. So these are, you know, <clears throat> quite uh, popular in different domain like uh, encryption in the domain of uh, iot then uh, you know, rfid cards and uh, like that uh, in different domain the different algorithms are used okay so here are some references